One day, no fruit happened to grow on earth. So as not to starve to death, people ate grass and bark. The fertility goddess Ododuva felt pity for the people and told them a secret about how the soil can be turned into food. Since then, people have never been starving. What is the secret of Ododuva? From bad to worse. Hmm. Nope. Again, nothing comes to my mind. Well, whom should I talk to this time? Hi, Muse. How oh, good you came here. I've got something here. Muse, merchant, husband of seeds keeper Kulima. One of the stories on the archipelago tells of a merchant who once bought some rotten coconuts, got upset, and threw them all away. And his seven-year-old son used the nutshells to make superb bowls of them and sold them at triple price. But not so many people know that Muse was that little fellow. He's always in high spirits. Life is a beautiful thing if you don't sit on your hands. Can you catch fish? No. Ah, nobody on this island can do it. Would you like me to teach you? Okay. Right, take whatever you're given, then sort it out. <laughs> First of all, you need some bait. Go to the field. Where do you know where Unkulima grows her earth food? Earth food? You mean the food growing from the earth? You mean... Wait, Muse, I'll be right back. Uh, whatever. Don't forget to dig some bait up. Hey, look who's here. Hi, Yati. Kulima, seeds keeper and wife of Merchant Muse. If laughter really makes you live longer, then Kulima is never going to die. Nobody on the archipelago welcomes every morning with more joy than she does. Kalima's been growing plants since her early childhood, and she treats people almost as well as she takes care of her lush plants, which have their little mysteries, but no big secrets. Hi Kalima, you're growing food from Earth. Could you teach me how to do it? Sure! Here, grab the mattock. Dig a small hole in the soft ground, put a seed in there, and wait till whatever grows up. Is that it? Are you sure? I'm sure. Try it. Grow up, say, a green ear, and an earth apple. I dug a hole. What's next? Put a seed into it. What seed? I don't have any. Eh? Ah! I totally forgot about them. Come here. Take some. There's plenty here, but in case you don't have enough, come again and I'll give you more.
Here, I've grown the earth apple and the green ear. Atta boy! I've always said you have a kind heart. Oraduva loves people like you. Come back if you want to work in the field again. Here, I dug a hole and found this. Is it the bait? That's exactly what it is. Okay, here, take the fishing rod. Now go to the shore. Walk into the water to your knees and cast out the hook to where it's deep, into the blue water. Wait till the fish nibbles and bites, then reel it back to the shore. Clear. I'm gonna try it. Here's the fish. Wonderful! Now we need to cook it. Do you happen to know anything about recipes? Yes, I can make a fruit salad. Well, salad. No, salad is not what we want. You see, we need to cook something using fire. Come back when you learn how to do it, okay? Okay. Chief Hakomo, I solved the second song's riddle. That quickly? Atta boy, Yati. You are now one step closer to your goal. Go to the totem. The third riddle is waiting for you. One day, the world creator Olorun gave people a happy year when the land was totally covered with fruit. But people began cooking everything in their path and got sick. Then the wisdom goddess Aoife called up keepers, one from each tribe, and told them how to know what would be in the cauldron after the bonfire dies. What did Aoife tell the keepers about? Hmm... Okay, here's a cauldron. You put something in, and something different comes out. By the way, what's boiling in there? I can't see what it is. Maybe Tambusi is cooking something. Oh yes, it's a riddle about recipes. I have to talk to Tambusi. I like this riddle. I don't have to go anywhere. Tambusi, tell me, how do I cook on a fire? Have you guessed the third riddle? What a bright boy! Well done! What can I say? Cooking food over a fire is a real art. It may seem easy. You may think that you just have to heat the food without burning it, but that's just wrong. In reality, if you don't do things just right, then that's it. You have no dinner to eat. So, what do you have in your bag? Multipede, earth apple, green ear. Great, that would be just enough. Here, take the recipe. Follow the drawings and you'll have one braised multi pea. Cook one, serve it, and show me what you got.
Here, I've braised the multipede. Mmm, very, very good. When you're done with your test, come see me and I'll teach you something else. Chief Hakomo, I guess the third riddle of the song. Uh, you have passed the test. And, I must confess, it is really unusual 